very much. This is the Oak Bay Concert Band. My name is Jeff Weaver and this is my first year here at the Tea Party and it's really great to be here. Thank you for having us. We're having a great time. Had a great time in the parade. We're going to play a few tunes for you and the opening ceremonials will be up. Thanks again.
afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We were a few minutes late, but that's because we all had to rush back home and get our sunglasses. What a beautiful day we have for the 50th Tea Party. For those of you not from Oak Bay, welcome. Welcome to a municipality where we have our chief constable, the police chief of Oak Bay, out there wearing a vest directing traffic for the Tea Party. What other municipality do you see where the, fire, the police chief is out there doing that? How about a hand for Mark Fisher? And what other municipality would you ever see the mayor serving cookies to the dignitaries at opening ceremony. Mayor Nils Jensen. Now, uh, tea is being poured out uh, and uh, distributed among the dignitaries. We have a lot more dignitaries than we usually do, but uh, I'm going to introduce them in a few minutes. But first, I'm going to call upon Oak Bay's official town crier, Mr. Kenny Potmore to say a few words, as town criers are wont to do. that happened before that in 1962 
that took place in the Oak Bay Village, not in, in the park. And we have four people here. One of them is 90. I'm not going to tell you which one, but it's one of the guys. Just let me say that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big welcome back to Bob Rumsby, Bernice Rumsby, Bill Wright, and Joyce Wright. Wave to the crowd, please. They're all here for you. Actually, I understand that Bill Wright and his brother own the butcher shop on Oak Bay Avenue, and Bill Wright takes credit for the Oak Bay Tea Party now being world famous for not serving just hamburgers, but the world famous Baron of Beef. Thank you, Bill Wright. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start at the far end. The tea party could not be possible with all the wonderful entertainment, the uh, air show and that sort of thing that we have without our sponsors. One of or the longest serving corporate sponsor, not only uh, are the guys that do it part of the tea party committee as volunteers, but they also, from Concord National, uh, represent Tetley Tea. They run the tea tent and the girl guides serve tea and they get money for serving tea. They get all the profits actually, the girl guides, to go on jamborees around the world. And representing Concord National, better known to us here at the Tea Party is Tetley Tea, is Art Kirkovic and Keith I don't know, I don't do last names. Johnson, stand up, just take a wave. Tetley Tea. Next in line, in no particular order, we have some rookies here on the uh, front stage. Uh, we had an election last year, and uh, starting at the far end there, a uh, councillor for the first time at the Tea Party, Michelle Kirby. And her sidekick. Not a rookie, but welcome back to councillor Tara Ney. It's hard to call this next one a rookie because she got lots of experience in North Saanich on council, but she and her husband moved to Oak Bay. She ran for council. She's almost sort of a rookie councillor here in Oak Bay. Kareen Green. I've got to be careful not to say uh, one of our older councillors. I'd say one of our more experienced councillors. Uh, Pam Copley. Pam. Lost child or lost parent? What's your name? Ben. And what? Are you here with your mom or your dad? With your mom? What's your mom's name? Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen. And Mary Ellen's lost? Boy, don't you hate it? When... Mom, don't go wandering off again, please. Okay, Ben. Well done. Now, Ben knew what to do. Any kids, any parents get lost, go to the security tent, uh, uh, trailer along the, the pathway here, or to the St. John Ambulance, or come up here on the stage. We'll look after you one way or another. Okay, back to the rookie counselors. We have a guy whose grandfather was the Reeve of Oak Bay a long time ago, back in 1962, for, as a matter of fact. A new counselor here in Oak Bay this year, Mr. Kevin Murdoch. I'm now going to go down to the other end. You've, you've met Joyce and Bill Wright and uh, Bernice and Bob Rumsby. I'm just going to say something about the uh, other corporate sponsors. We have the Oak Bay News and Black Press as our media sponsors. We have the Penny Farthing Pub that's been a sponsor of the Tea Party ever since it came into existence. And we have the Oak Bay Marine Group uh, that offers the first prize for the raffle this year, uh, trip to Oak, uh, April Point. We have somebody new this year. In honor of the 50th Oak Bay Tea Party, we, thanks to Mayor and Council, are letting us have fireworks tonight at 10 o'clock. People love fireworks, but you know, it's money going up in smoke. And we are very pleased to have with us today our newest corporate sponsor who came in in a big way this year and is sponsoring the entire fireworks tonight. 
even though they're not able just yet to go out on their own balcony and uh, watch the fireworks because uh, the building isn't quite finished. But ladies and gentlemen, please, a big round of applause to representing the general manager. Is it general manager? Yeah, general manager is Michelle Lesage and, and her bosses. The ones, the onlys, Kevin and Shauna Walker from the Oak Bay Beach Hotel. <laughs> 10 o'clock tonight, we're going to have entertainment going right through until 10 o'clock, ending with Soul Shakers. Joyce, the voice, who is the singer with Soul Shakers, she wants to have her last note end just as the first firework takes off. We're going to do our best to make that happen tonight at 10 o'clock. To make sure that there are no uh, things go amiss, we have, please, on the front stage. He's usually off on some boondoggle in California for the tea party, but he's here this year. He had to get changed because he's a Kwanian and he was making burgers already today. Uh, but now he looks uh, quite spiffy, says his wife. Fire Chief Jerry Adam. I've already pointed out, but I'll do so once again. This is uh, your second tea party? Oh, first, officially, that's right, a rookie chief constable, ladies and gentlemen, our own police chief, Mark Fisher. I was uh, talking about counselors. I got a phone call this morning. I got a text first. It says, hello from Venice. Uh, happy Oak Bay Tea Party birthday. I thought, what the heck? Who's this? I don't know. Then I got a phone call, same number. Counselor John Herbert and his wife Anne are on their Italian vacation. He phoned me this morning from Italy because he wasn't sure if the text message worked or not. And uh, he wishes you all the very best and a happy 50th uh, to the tea party. And, okay, I have uh, the Deputy House Speaker in the House of Commons, who happens to be our Member of Parliament, Denise Savoy, could not be here because of her duties in Ottawa, but she says, Congratulations to Oak Bay on the 50th anniversary of the Oak Bay Tea Party. Every year I look forward to this wonderful celebration that brings together the whole community. Unfortunately, I am unable to be with you today. I will miss saying hello to many of you along the parade route, all of the activities at Willows Beach, and the fun of sipping tea while practicing the perfect art of holding that baby finger in just the right way. Nils Jensen is going to be leading everybody in how to do that. He's been practicing. <laughs> no, not the thumb. And not that other finger. It's the baby finger, Nils. I will especially miss joining the new mayor and council as they celebrate their first tea party and their official functions on this special anniversary. Congratulations to all of you for making Oak Bay such an engaged community. I hear from Oak Bay residents often in Ottawa and I look forward to seeing many of you this summer and continuing our conversations about issues of national significance. Have a great celebration today. Denise Savoy, Member of Parliament, Victoria. And for Denise. She really is a fan of the Tea Party. She, she is very sad that she couldn't be here. But we do have our own member of the legislature, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, to say a few words on behalf of the government of British Columbia, our own Ms. Ida Chong. Thanks very much, Bill. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, your worship, council members, and uh, distinguished guests, friends, everyone. I am always pleased to be able to join with you at the Oak Bay Tea Party Parade. I have been doing this since 1996, have never missed an Oak Bay Tea Party Parade or weekend, and I know we've gone through good weather, bad weather, but it always seems to come out sunny when it matters, and that's when it comes out for the parade, and that's when we have to toss out the candy. So I'm really grateful for that because I see so many young people lining, lining the roadway. Today I just want to congratulate the Tea Party uh, society and uh, under the very great leadership of Bill Murphy Dyson for all you do. Thanks so much, Bill. I know Bill took this over from someone who had done it for decades and you know Bill I don't think you've quite reached your one year or one decade yet but he has done an incredible and phenomenal job in all those years and uh, we all appreciate it. Again today I just want to say how great it is to see all of you. Enjoy the parade. The work behind the scenes by all, of, all the volunteers is done 
so that you have an enjoyable weekend, so that you know what this community is all about, and that you can appreciate the benefits that we have here in a country and a province such as ours. And to each and every one of you, all I want to say is happy 50th birthday, Obey Tea Party. Thank you. Thank you, Ida Trump. All right, there is another dignitary I was going to say until the very last step, but uh, besides our mayor, who's still recovering from serving cookies, but we have come through the tweet curtain all the way from the city of Victoria. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mayor Dean Fortin. I'm now going to call upon Rick Hawes to bring your stuff up here. Rick, take a microphone. He is going to tell us who won what prizes at the first event of the day at the Oak Bay Tea Party. Ladies and gentlemen, the guy that puts the parade together every year, Mr. Rick Hawes. Hi. Hope everybody enjoyed the parade. Everybody's enjoying the weather. Um, I'm going to be quick. We, we started a bit late, so I'm going to run through this. Hopefully, everybody that was say thank you to everybody that was in the parade. Really appreciate you coming out and, and sharing with the community. So thanks very much. So let's get started. Uh, the first um, category we have is the uh, group category. And third in the group category was the uh, Oak Bay Sea Rescue. Oak Bay Sea Rescue is now out on the water. They're going to be doing a, a rescue demonstration in a little while, but we'll get this to them. These are beautiful ribbons this year with the 50th logo on them, so that's great. Okay. And in uh, second place, the uh, Western Command Group. Any Jeep drivers here? Okay, we'll get it to them. And in first place... And first place is the uh, uh, Pacific Tattoo uh, Kelt Fest. They had a Piper Girl partial Pipers. <laughs> and in the uh, commercial float category, the uh, first place was Ope Pharmacy. Second place was the Reflections Hair Design. Second place, the Ross Bay Preschool and 
St. Christopher's Montessori. Uh, Rick, uh, this is Ross Bay Preschool's first year in the tea party, so congratulations and worth rock coming up. And in first place, the uh, Oak Bay Parent Home Preschool. Do. It doesn't matter what Rick does, it doesn't matter what the audience does. These guys behind here are always thinking they're special. <laughs> Which of course they are, but we'll see what the judges have to say. Third place. And third place. Reynolds High School. <laughs> Anybody here from Reynolds? From Reynolds? All right, well, we sure appreciate them coming out anyways, don't we? Well, it's, it. uh, it's pretty it's tough territory. Fantastic. So I think there must be uh, some intangibles in play. In second place... Spectrum. Anybody here from Spectrum? All right, we'll get it to them. So... Who's, I didn't get to see the parade because I was in it. Who's in first place? And a uh, drum roll. In first place, Oak Bay High School. another rookie. Yeah. He's been a band teacher for a while. He's a musician in his own right, but it's taken him this long to come to Oak Bay High. Please welcome Mr. Jeff Weaver. Yeah. Hey, that's it for me. Thank you to all the uh, entrants in the parade. Thanks everybody who came out. One more hand for Rick Haas. Great parade. Great weather, Rick. I now call upon the last time I'm going to say rookie this weekend. Please welcome our new rookie mayor, Mayor Nils Jensen. Uh, thank you, Bill. Unaccustomed as I am to speaking. Thank you very much. It's we have to time this. What, what an honor and a, and a privilege to be here with you today to uh, celebrate and, and start the 50th anniversary. And it's been an incredible journey uh, of all of the volunteers. And that's so important here uh, because this doesn't just happen. It happens because of people like Bill and Rick and all of their dozens and dozens of volunteers who, whose work starts in about a week's time to start planning for the next year. So. You multiply that times 50 and you've got hundreds and hundreds of volunteers that have helped over the years and I think they all deserve a great hand. Thank you all volunteers. Thank you. Now, any of these, uh, these kind of festivals or festivities have humble beginnings, but the Oak Bay Tea Party's beginning was anything but humble. It was grand. It was lots of pomp and lots of circumstance, or at least some circumstance. And they had a tea party downtown. They invited, in the village, and they invited the lieutenant governor to come. He came in a limousine. They invited the, uh, the mayor of uh, Victoria to celebrate. They laid out all the beautiful tables with tea. There was people in costumes from 
1960 serving the tea and there was crumpets. There was lots of activities here also. It was a three-day celebration. And the funny part is, the ironic part, it wasn't about Oak Bay. It was to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Victoria. But just to make sure that people in Victoria knew that their Oak Bay was different, the, uh, the organizers put up a checkpoint as you came into Oak Bay off of Owl Bay onto the avenue. And there, and that was the genesis of the Tweed Curtain. They strung a Tweed Curtain across there. They had a sentry box uh, with a soldier looking person checking IDs coming into Oak Bay. And I think that all arose from the uh, the idea of the Iron Curtain and check part, uh, Checkpoint Charlie. So we had our Checkpoint Oak Bay checking everyone coming in. But of course there was someone just a few feet away giving out passes to everybody. So it was an incredible uh, celebration. But it was in on behalf of Victoria. But Oak Bay has such a great time. In those days there were no bylaws against fun. They, they had such wonderful time that they just, every year after that, they kept going and going and going. And what was very important, as uh, Bill had mentioned, is uh, the Reeve at the time, also known as the mayor now, the, the Reeve of Oak Bay, was Kevin's, uh, Murdoch's granddad. So there's lots of connections to the past. And what happened on that day is uh, uh, Reeve Murdoch called up the mayor of Victoria, who was Mr. Wilson at the time, and he came forward. And he didn't really know why he was coming forward, other than perhaps to say a uh, hello and thank you very much for the party. But uh, it's a good story, though, Bill. Don't you think so? Yeah. There you go. So what happened is uh, Reed Murdoch called up the mayor. And there was a big item, a big wooden item behind a veil, and he had the mayor pull off the veil. And we're going to reenact that right here, right now, with grandson Kevin Murdoch coming forward, and the mayor of Victoria coming forward also. And we'll show you what happened 50 years ago. Okay, dr hang on, drum roll.
it's absolutely wonderful, uh, and, um, and I want to wish you, Dean, a uh, happy anniversary, because you're 150 and we're 50. So uh, what a momentous day that must have been. So now we're going to relive another momentous day, and as tradition will have it, I'm going to demonstrate, particularly for the new councillors, the way the Tea Party is officially open. I will ask all uh, everyone to stand, including the audience. And we hold our pinky up thusly, and it's a bit of a balancing act. And this year we not only toast the 50th anniversary of the Tea Party, but the 60th anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II. To the Queen! To the Queen. And now, I officially declare the 50th anniversary party open. party, the uh, dignitaries, very politely we say this, could you move away from the stage, please? 